Okay, welcome to what is probably the last stream of The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Assuming nothing goes terribly wrong with this final boss and I don't need to like randomly grind off screen for hours. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, let's just get to it. Who knows how much is actually left? We'll find out. Hello Moriaris, welcome to stream. I'm ready for pain, I suppose. But I'm I'm hopeful that it will go well. And there will be no insta deaths. I think the last thing we did last time was we beat up Garcia and then he like with the power of his mind prevented himself from becoming a demon. It's pretty impressive. There's still stuff we have to go through. Hello Malbrand, welcome to stream. Today we will watch streaming of I will do my best. I still feel like it's a little quiet. Let me know if that's too loud. I turned it up a lot. Endless bridge. Live, die, repeat. Oh no. Oh no. You know, for a cult, this is a this is a really pretty area. Oh, cutscene. Cocoa. What is this place? I don't know, man, but it's actually pretty. An underground lake. Feels like this ruin just gets bigger and bigger. Minasa. I want it over there. Is that the little orb that Kia was in? Looks like it. It so was. That's the thing we saw in that photo of Kido. Now we finally know where that photo was taken. I think I remember a big, dark place. There's a light above me, it's pretty, but a little scary. She was trying to describe this place, wasn't she? Indeed she was. Dr. Gwenter, is that you? Joaquim Gwenter. Time to find out the truth or maybe not. Oh no. I want to find out the truth in this game, not in the next game. When did you show up? Just from a glance, I can tell this guy isn't normal. Welcome. It is my honor to entertain such illustrious guests. Ladies and gentlemen from the special support section, as well as the two rising stars of the Bracer Guilds. Allow me to welcome you. I like his new outfit, even though he's kind of scum of the earth. <laughs> Screw you. You look pretty calm, considering we're about to kick your butt. Joaquin <laughs> Gwenter, I'm going to cut to the chase. Release everyone who's been brainwashed by Gnosis. No. We may not know how you're doing it, but we're positive that you're the one behind all of this. Oh. Sure, I'd be happy to. What? I told you my terms back at the IBC, didn't I? Hand over Lady Kia, and everything will come to an end. For some reason, I don't believe you. Also, your face scares me. <laughs> Enough with your bull. We'd never hand her over. You looking for a fight, you jerk? You truly are the sickest individual to have ever existed. I don't know. That might be Hartman, now that we've learned a little bit more about him. Shades of evil, I suppose. This guy's not the same twisted personality as the professor. 
ここまで狂気じみてはいないかった。いやれいやれ。Yeah, even, uh, Weisman? Weisman? Not, やれやれこれでは話にならないな。It's probably Weisman. Uh, oh, what a shame. You're making this conversation harder than it needs to be. そもそも Lady Kia has always been a divine child, the center of our humble organization. Is it so unreasonable that we would want the object of our worship back? Do you think we aren't aware of what happened six years ago? We will never let you have Kia ever again. Tell us already. Tell us the truth about Kia, her parents, her true identity. You have to know where she came from. <laughs> oh, you simple fools. You're still clinging to the misguided assumption that Lady Kia was born in this era. This era? This <laughs> Very well done. Divulging this information to those who haven't achieved wisdom would normally be prohibited. But allow me to provide enlightenment for you poor lost souls. Has she just been living in that orb for like ever? Till just a month ago, the divine child was asleep. In that cradle you see resting at the top of the altar. And it was there that Lady Kia slept since this room was first created 500 long years ago. Can't say I would want to be a nine year old for 500 years. What? That's not possible. You jerk, cut the crap. For someone her age, Kia looks very young. You want to know what her beauty secret is? Yeah, do tell, but like for adults, <laughs> not for nine-year-olds. <laughs> Surely you can't be that surprised. While modern technology cannot hope to achieve wonders like this, it's easily done with the gifts of the ancient Sumerians. 500 years ago, there lived a group of alchemists. It's always alchemy. Every time. Who gathered in this land with the intent of studying artifacts. Records say that this very altar was built using their powerful technology. The same alchemist that constructed Stargazer's Tower, I bet. I had no idea all these places were related to each other like this. As I said, Lady Kia has been in slumber since those ancient times. So is she like a homunculus then? However, not even the highest ranking members of our order know of her true origin. Oh, that is the story of the divine child. So the story is that you don't know. Great. Thank you, Joaquin. You've been so helpful. I can't believe this. What the heck, man? I thought we'd be able to help Kia find her past together. <laughs> Come now. What's with all the long faces? Play trails to Azure to find out. I shall. I shall. Lady Kia doesn't need a past. Because after all, soon she will take her rightful place as the true god. What did you say? God? <laughs> you heard me. This man really managed to hide his crazy super well while pretending to be a doctor. All of you need to open your eyes and see the truth of this world for what it is. Idios, the goddess of the sky, there's no such thing. Why can't you understand that the very existence is a fabrication created by the Septian Church? You lost your mind. Did he ever have sanity, Randy? That's the question you should be asking. He's just a harmless fishing hobbyist. S&M doctor. Megami no sonzai yo utagao hito ga iru nante. I can't believe that there are people who genuinely doubt the goddess. 
This is the truth that D therefore G faithfully preaches. However, we're often misunderstood. You see, we don't worship devils at all. Quite the contrary, actually. We simply make use of the iconography because it's convenient in our fight to deny the very concept of this goddess. Fighting fire with fire, so to speak. You can't be serious. If that's really the truth, why did you do all those horrible things to me and all the other children? All of them. Their anguish screams never stopped echoing, echoing through the halls. And there were even worse watches than the one I was in. Places where even more horrible things were done. So if you really aren't worshipping devils, then why? Why did you do all those things? Tioplato. Tioplato. I remember you well. An lodge test subject whose superb sensory receptivity was almost miraculous. Yeah, yeah. I'm truly fortunate to have been able to meet a test subject with powers like this. I guess this is a good time to ask them. What was the goal of all those inhuman rituals you performed six years ago? Goodness, you still haven't figured it out? I thought you were supposed to be a detective, Lloyd. Hidden where it hurts. Each and every one of those rituals served the greater purpose of enhancing Gnosis toward its final perfected form. The willpower and hidden potential that blossoms when one is brought to their breaking point. That kind of data was a necessity if we wanted to perfect Gnosis. <laughs> The reason we used children for our test subjects was simply because it ensured more accurate data. You see, test subjects that have yet to reach puberty are in various aspects. No. That's enough. Have you no shame, you monster? Never thought I'd meet someone more screwed up than my family. <laughs> Poor Randy. Based on everything we've heard, you must have been the person responsible for organizing these experiments all over Zemuria, right? Precisely. However, our order never placed much importance on hierarchy. Because you see, we're all equals under our true god. To be honest, I don't give a crap about whatever your cult believes in. <laughs> But you know about that place, don't you? Is she talking about paradise? Yeah, okay. paradise. It was one of your lodges, wasn't it? Paradise? We saw that name before. It was mentioned in the Black File. Oh, you know of its existence then. That particular lodge was created at the behest of the most powerful members of the Order. They'd invite influential figures, cater to their most depraved fantasies, and use that as leverage for the Order's benefit. And you think you have the moral high ground from that? Truth be told, though, that lodge deviated from my research principles, which I did not appreciate. But you didn't put a stop to it. So... So it's true. Just like we thought. That answers the nub of my questions. You lured Speaker Hartman to paradise in order to coerce him into helping the cult, didn't you? I don't know. If someone's willing to be a child predator... I think they were always going to be a child predator. I'll say it. I don't think he needed much of a nudge. Haven't played the Sky <laughs> Games, but... Mm. That's it. There's our connection. <laughs> it's not like someone held a gun to his head and was like, go. Someone get Chris Hansen on the phone. <laughs> I 
only began to truly understand what happened there after I poured over the results of every established lodge. After that aggravating operation six years ago, we nearly lost all of our precious lodges. Fortunately, we stumbled across the perfect backer for our cause, Speaker Hartman. And conveniently enough, he came with the nice bonus of Rubachenko. Everything's falling into place now. And you manipulated the crossbow guardian force through the same connection, didn't you? Speaking of the guardian force, how did you even get them to take your crappy drug in the first place? Oh, that was simple. The CGF commander is Speaker Hartman's protege. So I have him in the palm of my hand as well. All I had to do was pass Gnosis off as a new supplement developed at St. Ursula. It was a bit of a shock how easily he believed me, though. What an idiot. How idiotic can one guy get? In regard to paradise, there was one detail about its fall that was strange. Instead of being targeted by the same joint operations as the other lodges, it was destroyed by that secret society responsible for the incident in Liberal. Good for Ren. I assume Ren had a hand in that. Oh dear. Just what were they thinking? Well, the destruction of paradise only left me with one agenda That being the loss of a young subject who demonstrated a remarkable level of it. adaptability. Oh, she was simply... Oh, Ren was at... Paradise? Oh. Man, no wonder she's the angel of slaughter. Good for her. Good, good for her. She was simply a marvel. I hope she killed them all. Through harnessing Gnosis, she could absorb other subjects' personalities and manifest them in her own mind. Ugh. The loss of that data was truly a tragedy. That's enough. We have what we came for. You can shut your disgusting mouth now. Sorry, Lloyd. We kind of took over your interrogation. That's fine. Thanks to your help, I was able to draw a lot of conclusions about the case. And now I'm fully prepared to arrest him. Did I just kill him, though? I know we're police, but like... What if we just killed him? High Priest Joaquin Gwenter of the D, therefore, G. Call. In accordance with the state law, you are hereby under arrest on the charges of assault, disturbing the peace, unlawful occupation of property, drug use, and child abuse. Telling you is only a formality. So we have both a search warrant and an arrest warrant signed and approved. If you know what's good for you, don't resist. <laughs> You lot are so intriguing. I have an idea. Why don't we make a wager? I was thinking that, Moriaris, when we when did we get the search warrant, but I didn't want to say it in case it happened last stream and my memory is just absolute trash. But I'm glad I'm not alone in my confusion. But like, seriously, in the midst of Crossbell being taken over by drug addicts and being like shot to crap, when did we get a search warrant? Yeah, we never went in. They were being, like... The door was being rammed by crazy people. Let's just assume Sergei gave us one. Which of us will be the ones to accomplish their goal? His laugh is so disturbing. Oh, you changed your hair color, I see. When did you get an horrible staff? His hair. And is that some sort of orbal staff? <laughs> ah, yes, this is my hair's true color. You see, as a result of repeated gnosis consumption, my body has been altered somewhat. Or perhaps I've simply gone gray due to not getting a wink of sleep the past several years. Hey, this ain't the time for jokes, you freak. You telling me you haven't slept for years? 
I see. That would explain how you were able to do all this while working full time at the hospital. When I said last stream that he must never sleep to get all of this done, I didn't think he would actually say that he doesn't sleep. <laughs> I somehow predicted <laughs> this. <laughs> jokingly. Oh, perhaps you're a better detective than I gave you credit for. Man, I wish my insomnia made me this productive. As for your question, Tio, this staff here is one of the oral masterpieces created by the ancient alchemists of Crossbell. Ah, the power it holds outstrips even the most dangerous artifacts. This magic power. What are those? Allows me to command these creations as I please. <laughs> I like their little arm blades. I want little arm blades. <laughs> are these <laughs> archaisms from the Middle <laughs> Ages created with the power of alchemy? <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe it's time for our finale to get underway. <laughs> Today will be a day to remember, a momentous occasion that will echo through history. The day that Lady Kia attains her true powers as a god, and all our desires are realized at long last. What if we let Kia become a god, and then she just smited this man, and then we just all moved along with our lives? Enough with your delusions. We will never lose, not to the likes of you. 